Well, well, it's a million and one excuses for a nigga not to get it. If you a nigga looking for excuses, you always be able to find them. But over here, that shit is unacceptable. We gonna win. We gonna get it. I remember being a young nigga watching Rob Bass video he had on that red silk suit. It takes two to make a... Damn. If I could just... God damn that nigga. Nigga, salute the Rob Bass, man. That shit inspired me. Along with a bunch of other niggas. But what I, all I'm trying to tell you is this. If you watching Ricky Rose in the biggest house in the fucking United States of America, you could be 20 times bigger than me. You just can't accept no excuses because what you got to tell yourself is Rose wouldn't. If we woke up early morning, nigga, every day and said, let's go and get it. And I don't give a fuck what time we go to sleep to. If you're a nigga that's in a rush to go to What's your ultimate dream? If you could be anything you want to be, with, what would it ultimately be? The last stop. A lot of you motherfuckers won't even know because you never even thought about it. And that's cool. But now is the time to begin to think about it. So you know, wherever you at, nigga, everybody start in the mud. Everybody, everybody start with a fucking Altima, Nissan, and that's a blessing on some G shit. What would you want it to be, a Rolls Royce, a Bentley, a Ferrari? I remember when I thought this shit was the, the nigga, this shit ain't shit. You can make that shit in a day worth of work, two days worth of work when you get the way your dreams are. If that's your dreams. Not we ain't making no excuses. We don't got no fear. I don't care if I fail. I'm going to try. That's all you got to do is try. If you a barber and you cut six heads a day, try to make it 12. Try to figure out how you could cut 12 heads a day. Make a nigga go out and politic. I'm going to go out this weekend. I'm going to network, give a few cards out. I'm going to do something I ain't never did. I'm going to work on my razor game. If you a barber, if you a barber and you fuck with a chick, she should have your barber shop in her bio. That's if she really fuck with you. If she DMing a lot of rich niggas, she may not want it up there and gonna find an excuse. And if she do, you need just somebody else that understand your grind. Teamwork made the dream work. We all need a team. I don't care if it's just your mama, your sister, your brother, your homies. And when you get a team, you best to have a team. But you gotta be a leader. I don't care if you the, the, the smallest nigga on the team. If you the smallest nigga on the team and you come into your big homie house and you on, you walking up to the driveway and there's leaves in front of the door and all that, just get the broom and sweep that shit off. Show the nigga your true value. Let them know you see the vision. I see what you got going on. I remember the first time I walked in Puff Crib. I said, God damn. Fuck. This what the fuck nigga got goldfish in the living room. A big table full of green apples and damn. But I seen that nigga working hard. I got to outwork this nigga. And that's what my goal was. Everybody screamed loyalty, loyalty, loyal, all that shit. Don't even say that shit to me. You know, the first nigga ever gave me a Rolex watch was Tony Draper from Suave House Records. I don't even know how many years ago that was. And guess what? Me and Draper still speak every other day. He's still a rich nigga, still getting money. I'm a made nigga now. That's how it's supposed to be. You don't get your bag. A lot of niggas want to come to the table, eat, and take their plate to go. But you're in a rush to, nigga. Let's plot on some more money. Let's get some more money. Something else got your heart? If this ain't got your heart, you can't really do nothing for us. We don't need laborers. Nigga hanging outside Home Depot, we need somebody that's going to commit their heart to this shit. That's the only way you're going to get the most out of it. People hit me up all the time. Rose, give me some advice on how to do this and how to do that. See, you already asking for some shit. Bring something to the table. A nigga like Rose, if you finna call and ask for anything, you DMing me about some shit, the first thing that I should see when I click your page, nigga, is you done posted something on behalf of Rosé. That way, 
that showed me somebody done planted a seed in you that understand the way this shit really worked, making your way to the upper echelon. I don't want I got to ask you for this and want to, <laughs> don't nobody care nothing about none of that shit. Everybody in the middle of a war, nigga. Everybody got obstacles. Everybody in the struggle. Every nigga you know, every nigga I know, everybody, everybody. It's a line of motherfuckers that need help. And guess what? It's certain motherfuckers you let. Like I say, bring it to the table, baby. You ain't got to have no money. You ain't got to be no money. It could just be your inspiration. It could be your ideas. You know what I'm saying? You see a leak right there? Go get the bucket. This nigga should have to tell you, hey, put a bucket under that leak and catch that water. You just make yourself that type of nigga. And it's going to speak for itself. Hey, that nigga's an asset to have him around. Because if, if he sees something you don't see, he'll take the initiative and do that. That's a valuable person. Fuck what he got. Fuck how cheap his shoes is. Fuck if he got on a, a guest watch. Fuck all that. Because I wore a guest watch at once. That shit don't make it. You dig? Now we got the petites. Nigga, them bitches 200, 150. I don't even know how many watches I got. Fuck that shit. My nigga Meek, my nigga Wale, Gunplay, all my niggas who hustling and grinding and nigga. I'm down by, I'm down by law. Your homie, your homie selling Ciroc. If that's your homie, you a Ciroc boy. You ain't got to ask me that. We, your homie selling Bel Air, you a black bottle boy. You ain't even got to ask. Because when you look up, nigga, it's in your chest. You know what I'm saying? You listen to my music, I represent for niggas that can't even speak. Niggas who locked down in the cell can't even hear birds. I got homies been in it, nigga. Under the motherfucking Levensworth, under the ground, nigga. I ain't seen a tree in 20 years. But I'm going to keep their name alive. I'm going to keep their case alive. If that's possible. Write a letter. It ain't about what you got. Send some love. Let them know you ain't forget them. And that's how you address everything and everybody. I'm sitting up here talking shit, smoking a cigar before my, my boxing instructor, Almighty, get here. I said, Almighty, man, you a good nigga. You a humble nigga. Turn your social media up. I want you to train other niggas. I'm going to do it for you. He ain't even got a He ain't asking me to do that. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna sh Let's do this. And that's how it's supposed to go. So what you bring to the table? If you don't bring shit to the table, nigga, you better sweep, mop, and motherfucking wax the flows on the way to that bitch. Because that's the only reason you should eat. Not because a nigga owe you nothing, nigga. Not because of who cousin you was. Yeah, that's my first cousin. That's my third cousin. That, that, that my dog. I grow up. Fuck all that shit. It's time to grind. To make it here. I ain't got no excuses. I don't care about now. Nigga, I'm going to bust my ass. Nigga, if we cutting trees down today, we going to cut the trees down. If we cutting grass, that's... Nigga, I remember the first time I ever had a seizure. I went and looked at a house with 15 rooms in it and two elevators. That shit, I was so inspired. That shit, I... I nigga, I couldn't even go to sleep. I was just... I left. I came back that night and snuck in with the same cold and walked around that bitch and left and came back the next day. I know the realtor would have called the police on my ass if he knew what the fuck I was doing, boy. But I was inspired. I need shit that and, and, and motivate me. That's what my shit do for me. I'm a nigga that need that motivation. I love motivation. What, what inspire you? What motivate you? What'll make it hard for you to sleep, to get up early and start early, go to sleep late? Because that's when you become a valuable motherfucker. Whatever that is, that's your calling. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, we partying in Miami. Friday night, we bringing the whole city of Dallas out. All my big money partners coming out in Dallas, the whole city. You better be there. Saturday, we in Vegas. Sunday, we in Vegas. Monday night, we partying in Miami. 
If you're a hustler, get your flights together, get your hotels together. Let's go city to city with this shit. Ain't no excuses, baby. We getting it in. Where we come from, never never envy a man who wearing suede Gucci shoes because you never know how many miles a nigga had to walk to get there. Besides, we all wore them five dollar slides out the grocery store. And that's cool. Now just make up your mind, nigga, you gonna boss up and nigga one day I'ma have them suede ones on. <laughs> 